Back from the break. Um, lots of different things to be had with uh, subdividing notes and then notes within notes. I left the last segment with six. Uh, this segment I'll just start with seven. Now, seven, I've often talked about Gina Lola Brigida. Gina Lola Brigida, Gina Lola Brigida. So there's seven, okay. Now what starts to happen is there's your seven. You treat it like fives, really, like that, it, because it's an odd number. I'll actually turn the snares off for a minute. I just want to show you something. I'll do it with mallet so I can talk over the top. But if I've got that as just a beat, right, left, right, left, seven. Goes, if you're playing odd numbers, it goes right to left. I'll talk about that another time. That's not really the subject of tonight, but I will make it the subject of maybe the next episode after I change my shirt. <laughs> um, what goes on <laughs> is then you have eight, which are 30 second notes, right? notes or semi quavers then you fill them in. Whatever it might be. A bit of blast there I suppose. But anyway, um, not in this shirt. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hanging shit on my shirt. Anyway. So you've got... There's your eight. Now, they are your most popular notes, one to eight. I've added in two odd ones, five and seven. But if you actually think like um, uh, crotchets, quavers, triplets, semi-quavers, four and a beat, one, two, three, four, respectively, jump over the quintuplet into a sextuplet and then jump over the septuplet, the seven, to 30-second notes, therein lays most of your musical rhythmic vocabulary okay all of that sort of business throw in the five and the seven those two and now we're up to nine okay now this is the note within a note the easiest way to play a nine is to tripletize the triplet now a lot of guys play non uplets uh, without even really knowing it if you're playing a normal blues na -na -na -na. Tripletize the triplet. So what you've got is one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a Something like that with the right, left, left. And of course you can do it normally. Like. You know, all of this sort of business if you wanted to. And that's a non-uplet, you see. There you go. Now with ten deck uplets, okay, what starts to happen is that you have to do subdivisions on a non-divisible number, such as five. So you might have... Hippopotamus, 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 hippopotamus. Say the same thing, drop a left hand in. Hippopotamus, 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 hippopotamus. Okay, and that's what happens. That's a 10, right? There you go. Or you could play, um, this is where you start using double stroke rolls if you wanted to. You can play uh, quintuplets. Uh, yeah. Hippopotamus, 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 and just double stroke it. Hippopotamus, 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 hippopotamus. There you go. So. What starts to happen is um, I could be playing uh, some of the stuff that I've explained in the past, such as... 
you know, the wave concept that I sometimes use. But then the accent. Something like that will kick in and all of a sudden what seems to be random suddenly has um, a pulse and all that sort of stuff. So there's 10. Now the same thing starts to apply with numbers greater than that and that's what I'm leaving for the next segment. Okay, so back after the break with more of this notes within notes. Okay, see you soon.